What is up everyone? Welcome back to Roddy Out of Stories HD Remaster 60 FPS. So we're headed to the Elf region. However, we're gonna do some training. We're gonna train one-handed sword here, the training dummy over here. We're not gonna be able to complete every challenge right now, but we can complete some of them now and do the rest later. Alright, it's time to do one-handed sword training here. There's a total of 20 challenges here. The first one is just to defeat the enemy. It's just against a training dummy. Level 1. You do have a time limit. But they give you plenty of time. And then make a four hit combo. It's pretty easy, obviously. So I mean, you have enough points to do a four hit combo, which you should. There we go. And defeat enemy again. Alright, defeat using only Sky Splitter. Okay, so you're going to have to set up a combo for that one. Well, you don't have to set up a combo, but you have to set up Sky Splitter, of course. There we go. All right. Next up we got make a five hit combo. Okay, so I can't do that right now because, well actually, yeah I can. Because I can equip another blade. And the next step is counter blow five times. So that's after you get hit, you press circle and then you'll be able to counter attack. But you gotta block. How do you Okay, X, yeah. One. Two. Three. Four. So that's an easy one to do. The next up is break parry three times. So you need impact thrust or other skills that do that. And you gotta have the enemy defending, so... One. Not frozen. 
This will probably be the last challenge I do for now, and then we'll complete the other ones later. Two. If not, I can just do this one later, too. Oh. Oh, I got it. Okay. I didn't think that counted, but it did. I was a little bit late on that. Or limit break. Alright, so that's all the training I'm going to do for now. I'll complete the rest later. Let us head to the... Elf region. The basic combos is probably the best in, that you're going to get, unfortunately. A lot of times it doesn't even matter what you said is your combo. To be honest with you. I wish they had made some of the other skills better, but they didn't. Oh, that status element, I hate it. Slows down your attack speed. Also slows you down too. Another wolf. Two wolves in a row. Going in back up. Oh, there's another one. Oops. I didn't know it actually worked. Sometimes when they call like that, it won't summon anything. We got a Moonstone chip that restores HP to all party members. So we're getting into life, light elf territory. There's also dark elves too. And here we have a new enemy. One is the Gapakin, I think. Yep, Gapakin. Level 7, 126 HP. They have like a, yeah, that attack there is like a seed burst. Kind of like the enemy from Final Fantasy X. There was a plant enemy in Final Fantasy X that had like a seed burst attack as well. So it's very similar to that. Uh, you need to get God packing seeds to recruit a character later on as well. So I will be coming back here later and farming those things. But here we have Genius. Greetings. We are the Rose Cachon Brigade. Master Genius, I presume. Uh, young sir, your name is Genius, is it not? Hello, Master.
the genius. Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! <sighs> I was on the verge of finding the complete solution to the non-human biophilic element resonance accumulation principle. Then you had to interrupt and shatter my concentration. Ah, uh, I see. Yes, well, I'm very sorry. I'm sure. Uh... <laughs> this guy's kind of weird. He isn't kind of weird. He's completely cuckoo. Oh, never mind. So, you must be the Radiata Knight who wants to deliver the royal message. Right. I'm Captain Gantz Rothschild, and these two are... Ridley Silverlake. And I'm Jeff. Nice to meet you. I am Genius Vice Knight. I have only one request to make. Don't interfere with my research ever. There's a chance we could enter the Elf City, the City of Flowers. That is the only reason I have agreed to offer my assistance. Well, shall we? Uh, shall we what? I presume you want to leave immediately? Yes, of course. Good, we can talk as we go along. You and I, the value of our time is measured quite differently. I cannot allow my time to be wasted. For every minute that I am not working, humankind's progress is set back two weeks. Huh, is that right? Yes, that is right. I'm a genius, you see. Yeah, a genius named Genius. Genius joined the party. So Genius is the first mage character. Uh, he's got the Abyss, Genius original staff. Unlike others, he can cast several spells with his staff. Enchanted robe. A robe made from ma magical thread is quite thick, fairly high in defense. And then magic boost. A tool needed to invoke magic. It is similar to the elemental stone reactor. Invoke magic quickly when equipped. And then auto cure. And then he has wind cutter. Unleashes three magical blades, attribute wind. And then healing throws a mysterious stone in the air to heal himself and only himself. And then he has ice missiles, ice missile as well. Heaves big blocks of ice at high speed, dealing fair damage, attribute water. He's got like no luck. His luck is like insanely bad. And he's got low amount of HP too. But all of his other stats are pretty decent. Another got pack in. Hopefully, hopefully it drops a seed. If you fight so many of them, you're pretty likely to get a to get a seed. Oh, we got new to me. Bubble Frogger, 138 HP, element water, and it can confuse you. So it, my blade does less damage to it because it's water element. I'm gonna see Genius attack in 60 FPS. Boom. Pretty cool. At this bit, I'll level up. There's also a red frog in this area, too.
Okay, we got an enemy here. Lizard enemy. Colossal lizard. Colossal lizard. Keep Luke really alive. Doesn't matter if she dies, but still. And really, really leveled up. Nice. Sage. That's a new item. Cures all afflictions. A panacea that purifies the body cures all afflictions. It was tre it was treasured long ago as a way to attain perpetual youth. And then also moonstone chip is stone containing the power of moonlight. The stony chip slightly heals all party members. Another one of those statues again. We'll have to figure out what they do later in the game. I of course already know. Scene time. The gateway to the city of flowers. What is? Where? Are you blind? Here, in front of you, the crevice in this cliff. That? You're joking, right? That's the gateway? Geniuses don't lie. What were you expecting the entrance to look like, exactly? Well, I mean, it's the city of flowers, right? I figured it'd be more colorful or something. Never mind. We're wasting time. I guess that being hidden like this is why no one's ever gotten in before. Yes, and if anyone does find the entrance, they have to deal with them. Very important that you let us in. You again? Persistent twerp, do you want to get hurt? You make us mad, you're gonna be sad. Scary! Elves are way scary! Jack, you stop that. We have come bearing a very important message from the kingdom of Raviata. Please, is there any way that we might speak to your leader? Shut up, go home! If you're still here when we get back, you're dead. Come on, Captain. Let's go in anyway. Stop, you fool. 
If we do that, we'll never be able to deliver the message. Believe me, they will kill you. Those two weren't joking, you know. Really? Wow. The elves are really scary. There's nothing we can do. We'll have to withdraw. What a waste. How come we couldn't get in? We'd hope you'd help with that. In any case, we need to think hard and come up with another way to get inside. Think hard? <laughs> Wait, of course! You have an idea? We'll go to the Dark Elf Village. They can act as mediators in the negotiations. Mediators? But they're elves too! Surely we'll just be driven away again! The Dark Elves are far less hostile than the Light Elves. I know their elder, Lord Nogueira, quite well. I've asked him many times to intercede and let me into the city of Lares. He has always refused, but this time, I have more than just a personal reason to offer. A royal message cannot be dismissed lightly. It'll be very difficult for him to turn us down. And then, at last, I will be inside the City of Flowers. <laughs> Why is he laughing? He really is a weirdo. <laughs> if we didn't have to work together, I wouldn't want to hang out with the guy. Right, follow me, everyone. <laughs> Why aren't you following me? Well, the captain hasn't moved. Knights have to wait for their captain's orders. We can't just run off whenever we want. That's right. I am the captain. Only I can issue orders to the brigade. Master Genius, please take us to the village of the Dark Elves. What is this? Are you giving me orders? No matter how much of a genius you may be, you are for the present under my command. If that is unacceptable, then we must part ways. Fine, fine. We want the same thing, I suppose. Excellent. Now, if you'd care to lead the way... Alright, let's fight this enemy. Still haven't encountered that red frog yet. But I'll encounter it later. Yeah, we'll come back later and farm these go pack in enemies. So, it's okay if we don't get the seeds now. We can always get them later. But, uh, you do have to get the seeds before a particular point later in the game. But, we don't have to worry about that anytime soon. And don't worry, I won't, I won't miss any of the characters. Oh, we got a got pecking seed. Nice. I guess the other frog right over there. But we'll we'll encounter it later. Captain, you know you're actually kind of cool back there. Well, Jack, being entrusted with a brigade is a serious responsibility. A leader must be prepared to put his foot down for the good of the troops. Enforcing rules is a most important duty. Wow, being a captain is tougher than I thought. I wouldn't worry about it. It'll be a sunny day in Fog Valley the day you make captain. 
Sunny day in Fog Valley. <laughs> Shit talking Jack. Okay, we got an enemy here as well. Plan a bull. I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. Plow, plow nibble. It's like a bull enemy. Some frame drop in there, that's weird. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.